Do you want to be here? You usually on this side, it feels weird. Do you want to swap over? We're like out on the deck. They're always on specific sides, aren't they? Are they? I really know it. Yeah. Is it alphabetical order? It's always Ant and then it's deck. Too much, too much reality TV. Hello and welcome to What and Restorations. It's the final push on the Talbot. It is kicking out day. No, it's not kicking out day. It hasn't been finished yet. Well. You're just desperate to see it go. <laughs> no. It's nearly kicking out day. It's nearly kicking out day. <laughs> Today we are stickering. The big thick side decals are going on. It is the finishing touch to the well, look of the car sash. sash. <laughs> oh, hello Miss Talbot. <laughs> That is the sticker -z Sticker -z. for this car. Yep, I mean, um, it just looks so plain without them. You it know, does can't get rather. over how plain it looks. Um, so we'll get them stuck back on. Um, Lucy's going to show you how to do it. That's a simple episode, I think, isn't it? Simple episodes, and then we'll probably put the wheels on it, give it a wax and get it ready to go. Get it ready to be picked up. Ready to go. It's, oh, I do love the picking up day. <laughs> it is nice to see them go. It is nice to see them go. So you're going to get kitted out for decal application. Cleaning and sticking. Right, see you when we're done. Bye. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. Sticker kit. Two Lotus stickers. Some long stickers. I'm guessing that's a door stripe. I'm guessing. This must be the other door stripe. Coleman Engineering, eh? Do, do, do. These, oh, that's obviously the. I have to drive the side rear quarter because it's got the. Oh, for the petrol flap. And these must be the other quarters. Two must be front wings and two must be rear quarters. What must be the other rear quarter? And these must be the front wings because they're cut at a jaunty angle. I wonder if they're the correct length or if they require trimming where the doors are. Let's go and find out. Are they the right length? Do they need trimming? They need trimming. Both sides. Brilliant. Also, look like they're going to be a bit of a twat. They've got to go around the wheel arch. That's annoying that they need trimming. I mean, they know where the wheel arch dimensions are. They must know where the ends of the stickers go to. Right, we're going to start at the back, here somewhere, because these skinnier lines, one goes above the lights, one goes below the lights, and they run very tightly on these swage lines, they're very snug fit. So that gives us our starting point of where these stickers go. And then obviously the arch gives us our midway. And then we go to the front and we will line up the front and then we'll line up the door last and we'll tweak them as we go to make a straight line. And then we'll run a mask line, mask, masking tape line down the top of everything so we know where everything sits. Peel them off, well, peel them off, remove them from the car. Clean the car, make sure there's no dust or dirt or debris on the car and then we can start applying the stickers. So, so exciting. So exciting.
Right guys, I think I'm pretty happy with the way this sticker is lining up down the car. It looks pretty straight. So I'm going to mark the top line of where these stickers go to using the fine line tape because it's quite thin. It's, uh, it's just, well, I'm just, it's orange, I like it. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to run a line all the way along here, dead straight, dead nice. Then we can take these off the car, clean everything down, and start actually applying these stickers. Don't have to be too accurate with this, it's just a guide really, isn't it? A guide. I mean, guides should be fairly accurate though. Don't be unaccurate with it. Heavens. Interesting how it doesn't quite follow the swage line. It's dead on the swage line here, but the swage line is dropping towards the back of the car. Isn't that weird? So, note to self guys, the stickers don't follow the swage lines. Right, we've got our guideline. We are ready to stick some sticky stuff. So first, a bit of degreaser, clean off any of the polishing compounds or the waxes that are in all that stuff any of that got to come off uh, to make sure you get a good bond with your sticker so let's just take all of that off easy peasy very nice it's also cleaning it and you want to make sure it is clean because any bit of dirt underneath your sticker is going to it's going to make you think it's uh, an air bubble when sometimes it is just a bit of dirt and there's nothing you can do about it once it's in there. So, clean. Right, now we're all clean. I've got a tack rag here just to make sure there's no dust or anything on any of these surfaces. I'm just going to give it a light going over, making sure there's nothing in anywhere. Any big bits is going to give me any troubles. I'm also going to take it gently over the surface. There we go. It's not down there. Right. I like to apply stickers with soapy water because it's not just a one hit thing then. If you if you try and stick this on in one go without soapy water, it's just it's a lot of hard work. Plus it's harder to get bubbles out. A bit of soapy water, you'll be able to slide it around, get it just in the right place and then you can squeegee out the soapy water and leave it dry underneath and it stays nice. So, soapy water. Plenty of it. There we go. And start peeling off this protective sticky stuff. Not the protective stuff. I'm gonna keep that on there. That's the transfer tape. It's over backing off. It's harder than it looks. Right. Let's do that because it's quite a long sticker. At the moment, our two important bits are the top swage line and line it up with the arch. So you need to get it on that swage line and line it up with the arch at the same time. You can see how she wants to bite to the panel. That's not bad there. Not bad at all. About the same here and here. Let me just go backwards a little bit. Oh. 
See what I mean by getting a couple of chances to set this in place? Pretty good. Just using my thumb as a guide around the edge of the arch to see how well uh, it is. That's pretty damn good. So, next stage is we want to start squeegeeing out all the moisture and pushing the sticker into the panel. Where is my squeegee? Here. This is another use for a good Dura block. Um, get it moist. So it can slide along and just start squeegeeing out all of those bits of moisture. My hands are dirty. Moment of truth guys, the cover's coming off. Let's see what it looks like. Mmm, that's what I'm talking about. What a lovely, what a lovely silver. It's a really nice contrast, a really nice shiny black, the really matte, coarse metallic silver. It looks really nice. Let's crack on with the rest of it. A little bit more tricky this side with the old petrol hole. Um, getting it all to line up. We've just got to choose the lesser of all evils, you know, the arch I think is where everyone's eye is going to be drawn. So I've concentrated mostly on getting the arch in the right place. And then still, again, trying to balance this hole with the position of the stripe that goes around the back of the lamp with the arch. I don't think the hole's quite in exactly the right place. But there's not a lot we can do about that, so try and balance it out with this, that and the other. Um, and try and crack on. So let's get um, sticking. With the arch, very slowly work your way from the center down to the outside edges, very gently, very slowly. It's gonna take a while as well because it's not gonna want to go that way. So just, ever so gently just take some material out, material, water, just, just keep gradually working towards the arch and it will come along and it will be correct. But you do have to do it very very slowly bit by bit. If you go in too strong and you try and just go straight across there it's going to crease and it's going to look horrible. So just slowly but surely just take that water out you'll see the arch forming. You'll see it starting to take shape. You'll see the contours coming in. Contours, that's a good word, isn't it? Contours. Word of the day. Yeah, don't stress about it not looking like it's gonna fit. The plastic will stretch. It will go in. My 
nice and slow. Get some water out of the top. Like I said, it'll take a lot of squeegeeing to try and get oh, to try and get this shape in properly. Here they come, here they come. Once you've done most of your squeegeeing, it's a good idea to just start taking that moisture off the panel, off of the paper, just start drying it out a little bit. Now the cuts I'm doing in the door shuts are rough cuts just to get rid of most of the excess and then once we've got all the stickers in the right place I'll open a door and I'll do a much finer, neater cut. But for now we just need to find the rough centre of this and it's easy enough, you just press it in with your nail or your finger so you can see where that thing joins. Oh dear, a bit too much water in there still. And just go in there with a scalpel. Get that rough cut done. Beautiful. Like I said, rough cut, we will do a nicer cut when we can see what we're doing a bit clearly, door open, just do a really nice neat line down there. Just. It's now time to take the paper off, so let's just gently peel it back. The water that I spray on the top of the paper also sort of soaks through it and helps the glue detach from the sticker. And it does help with the removing of the paper stage. Which is good because sometimes this transfer tape can really stick. Right, cutting these edges, um, nice and straight, fairly close to the radius. So first thing we need to do is to mark it out with some fine line tape. We need to mark, find roughly where the edge is so we can follow it and get a nice crisp straight line. So let's just follow, we can see where it is at the bottom, about there. Oh dear, still quite moist. It's a good idea to do this when it's still a bit on the wet side, you see, because the sticker's going to peel back easy and go back on easy. Need to find the lesser of all the evils. Because this indicator line is curved and the sticker wants to be straight, it's going to look a bit awkward, so you're just going to want to angle it wherever's best, really. 
wherever's best. This, like I said, this is quite a straight line in comparison. I maybe want to move that in a fraction. Now I've got myself a bit of a cutting board here. It's just a piece of polycarb, bendy, nice, soft, um, with a bit of mask in tape on it. So we can put it behind there, stick the sticker straight to this, and it will easily come straight off again. And it's nice and clean, so you're not going to pick up any crap. So if we could just peel this back, and because it's wet still, it's just going to peel back. Oh dear. It's going to peel back real <laughs> easy. Come on you, stay there. Doesn't want to stay there. Real easy because it's still nice and damp. Get this behind it. Stick that down to your cutting board, it's not too hard. Now you need a ruler and a bit a cutting blade. And I'm just gonna go straight in like that. awkward this way around. It's got me cack handed side. Oh, don't you move. Right, just use the ruler as a guide for the thing. That's gone. That's gone. That will go right back into place. You just squeegee, get rid of the air bubbles. Ready, marvellous. Bottom bit, super easy. Put the blade not on the paintwork, just rest it against the sticker at the same angle as the top bit. And line it up and then peel back this and as you peel it back the blade will cut it so you don't have to physically cut this the, the vinyl with the blade you can just place the blade to it and peel back and as you're peeling it across the blade it's going to cut same with the top but we're going to cut it slightly more round at a bit of an angle a bit like that we kind of want to aim for the top of that bit I'm going to cut it like that. Lovely. Moving swiftly on, the rear panel needs doing as well. So, this is quite simple. It is just a straight line from that line to that, from joining that sticker to that sticker there and at the bottom. And we have three lines to choose from. They all look like they're the same kind of line. One of them maybe is excess or for the front, I don't know. Um, so this is where we're going to hide the join. And then I'm just going to overlap that slightly. And here we're just going to overlap it slightly just up there. And we're going to just peel this off and attempt to stick it on in a straight line. Maybe that's why you've got three. Because of the word attempt. Right, tuck that into there, so it falls on the floor. Yeah, it's just going to be a on the floor kind of sticker. No, it's massively too long because it's because it is. So pull pull it back a fair amount away and overlap it like that. And remove as much as you feel comfortable with and just eyeball it across the back panel. Yeah. 
nice and straight. And we'll just very gently press that down with our finger. Like so. I'm going to use a hot air gun to just push it in into a groove, make sure it sits in there nicely. Now this material is quite susceptible to a bit of heat, so very gentle with the hot air gun. And then just push it home. And it'll stick in there nicely. Looks great. Looks really good. We just need to cut it. As before, I'm not going to cut the, the thing against the panel. I'm just going to hold the blade where I want it to cut and then peel back the material to the blade and then it will just slice it off. That's the theory anyway, for some reason. It's not working for me today. Joint blade, perhaps. Or just bad seating. There we go. Nicely overlapped inside that little groove there where the panels join. So that's a really nice little, completely out of the way. I don't think they're really see it unless they're looking. One sticker left to go. We've done the back panel, we've done all down the sides. So it's looking really crisp. But this is the most important sticker because it says Lotus. It turns this car, this sticker alone, turns this car from a Sunbeam Tolbert to a Lotus Sunbeam Tolbert. Ooh, yes. So, I happen to know that it's 70 millimeters from the door shut to the start of the sticker. There. And dead center, top and bottom. And the dead center of the sticker is along the top of this line here. Sticker's about 50 mil in diameter and that line is halfway through. And I was able to kiss it to the top of both of those letters to make sure it's level. So, now we know where it's gonna be this way and where level is. I'm gonna use a laser level to find center of the center of the stripe here. Because there's nothing like the thickness of a three mil line to say accuracy. Yeah, that's definitely not in the right place. Let's do some measuring. I'm aware I'm using metal things. That's pretty damn good right there. So this sticker should live there. Straightforward enough. A bit of water and a squeegee will definitely give us a bit more room for error. So we're going to just go with the tried and tested methods. Come on you. There we go. Ooh. Stickery. Go. That was easy, wasn't it? Just going to leave the um, line on there for now so I can make sure it doesn't move when I squeegee out the water. Stickers are done. Bit more zhuzhy than that. Stickers are done! <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what that was about. Right <laughs> yeah, just uplift in. Just do it properly, do it properly. Right, ready? Three, two, one. Right, so the stickers are now attached to the car. You know what that means? It's finished. It's finished. 
that was the finishing touch. Brilliant. Look at it. Isn't it gorgeous? Done and dusted. Done. Back to perfection. It looks really nice. You couldn't, you couldn't get it looking it any really nicer. Nice. It is absolutely tip top, ready to rock the shows mm. next season. It is a stunner, and it, it, you know, you, you'll see this out and about hopefully, and you'll go, wow, that is what they wanted them to look like leaving the factory. Yeah, apparently they look terrible. They look terrible. They look terrible. Factory, I had a yeah. nice chat with a fellow on the phone today, or the other day, um, who said that the reason they put stickers down the side was to hide the swage line because it never lined up. So tricks like, of the trade so back in the days. Tricks of the trade back in the day. If you can't get yeah. something to line up, put a sticker over it. Stick some trim on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wonky trims. Sorted. Sorted. Problem solved. Right, and so the last thing to do now is for this to get picked up. Yeah. Boot it out the door. Boot it out the door and on to the next project. We're going to finish the Volvo. <laughs> yeah, we're going to finish the Volvo. We're going to finish the Volvo. And we're going to finish the E30. Finish the Volvo and the E30. And then we'll see what happens from there. Yeah. Right, so we'll see you again next time, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, we've got one more thing to do, actually. What's that? I'll show you.